Well, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue in our daily series on spiritual disciplines. Um, first, we talked about reasons that we should be reading our Bibles. Last week, we talked about reasons that we should be praying. And then this week, we're going to be starting on reasons why we should be sharing the gospel, the foundation or the core of Christianity. And the first reason that we're going to be talking about today in terms of why we should be telling others about Jesus is because Jesus commanded us to do so. This isn't something that's optional for us as believers. Some things in life for us are optional. For you guys as students, perhaps your teachers give you optional assignments as extra credit. In your home lives, perhaps your parents give you optional chores to do that you could get money for doing those chores. But here we see in the Bible that this isn't an optional assignment that Jesus gives us. This is a mandatory assignment. Many people have referred to this commandment as the Great Commission. And that word commission has the idea of a charge or an order or a mandate, something that a military sergeant or commander would give out to soldiers. And that, um, that idea is what Jesus is conveying here in the Bible in these verses that I'm going to be covering. The first verse is here in Mark chapter 16. Um, in verse 15, it says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. We then see at the beginning of Acts uh, chapter 1, Jesus again is talking to his disciples and says in verse 8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And then finally, at the end of the Gospel of Matthew, um, a set of verses that most of us are familiar with and the verses that we most commonly think of when talking about the Great Commission, Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, where it says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. We see here at the beginning, Jesus says that all power and authority has been given to me. Some of you guys are familiar with that song where it goes, I've got the power. That's essentially what Jesus is saying here, because he's God in a bod. He has the power and authority to give out this commission, this commandment to his disciples, which is to go out and make disciples of all nations. And what I love about that phrase is that, one, he's not just asking his disciples to go out and make new believers or converts, but he's telling them to make disciples, people who live in love like Jesus, who would then hopefully go out and make new, new disciples, new believers, and share the gospel with other people. He also reminds us that they're to make disciples of all nations. Everybody in the world needs to hear the gospel, whether it's our next door neighbors here in Huntington or people on the other side of the planet. And then the last thing that I love that Jesus reminds us of um, in this section of verses is that he's with us always. And there's two things that I think of when that word always appears here in this, in this passage. One is that we're to always be sharing the gospel with others. When we think of the word commission, the opposite of that word is decommission, which means to be dis for someone or something to be discharged from service. What we don't see in these verses is Jesus decommissioning us at a certain point. We don't see here in these verses where Jesus tells us to go and make disciples of all nations until you've shared the gospel with X number of people, or make disciples of all nations until you turn 60, then you can stop. No, what he tells us is that we're to make disciples of all nations always, for as long as we're alive or until the end of the age, which refers to the second coming or when we as believers are raptured from this planet and go um, to heaven to meet our Lord and Savior. So we're to be, as long as we're alive, we're to be witnessing and sharing the gospel with people. And although that may seem scary and intimidating, and although that is a commandment and duty, and duty that God has given us, the second thing that that word always reminds me of is that Jesus is, going to, is with us always. As long as we're alive on this planet, it's not going to be us that really that's sharing the gospel with others. It's going to be Christ who's working through us. And so we can take comfort in the fact that um, although we are commanded to share the gospel, it's really not going to be us that's doing the talking, but it's going to be Christ who is always with us, working through us um, to share the gospel with others. Thank you so much for joining us today and tune in tomorrow for another lesson.